Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. Today we're going to take a look at the Gospel lesson that is appointed for the week of Holy Trinity. It comes to us from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, and I think they are very familiar words for you. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The Spirit blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness of what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him." This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dear friends in Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ teaches our stand-in in this particular Gospel lesson, Nicodemus, many things, mainly about God and how God works salvation for us, his people. Nicodemus knew very clearly of God. God the Father is what we would say. All the Jews understood that there was a God. A God who spoke to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A God who helped Moses lead the people out of slavery in Egypt. A God who created the entire world with the power of his word. Let there be, and there was. They understood that there was a God, but they didn't understand much about this God. So Jesus teaches. Even Nicodemus, a ruler of the Pharisees, Jesus is able to teach. What does Jesus teach? Well, first off, Jesus talks to him about the work of the Holy Spirit. There is a Spirit who blows where he wishes. We hear his voice, but we don't know where he comes from or what he's going to do. In other words, Jesus is teaching Nicodemus that where God's word is preached and taught in its truth and purity, there is a Holy Spirit attached to that word, creating faith as God sees fit. Nicodemus also is taught by our Lord Jesus Christ that God sent his Son into our world because God loved this world. If God sends his Son into this world, that means that God must be a father, for only fathers have sons. And if God sent his Son, then the Son must also have a father. 
And so you see here that Jesus has taught Nicodemus in just these few short words that there is a Father, a Son, and a Holy Spirit. What's more, Jesus also teaches what these different persons of the Holy Trinity do. Jesus says that the Son has come to be lifted up, just as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, so that all who looked at him might be forgiven and might live, live life to the very full. In other words, Jesus teaches Nicodemus that the Son comes into the world to die on the cross. Jesus also teaches Nicodemus that the Holy Spirit works in the world to cause people to be born from above, born again, born in the waters of holy baptism. That's where the Holy Spirit creates faith within Christians, calling, gathering, enlightening, and sanctifying them in the one true faith, in the church. There is only one God. Of that, Nicodemus was sure. And through the words of our Lord Jesus Christ in this particular gospel lesson, Nicodemus learns that this one God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who has come to save us, to wash us, and to call us into faith so that we might live forever with this one God in his kingdom. The Father sends the Son. The Son bleeds, dies, and rises. The Holy Spirit calls, gathers, and sanctifies. One God in three persons, three persons in one God. Even the greatest teachers in the world can't wrap their minds around it. All we can do is listen to the words of Jesus and believe. In the name of Jesus, amen.